Coming up in this video, I've got three Halloween cocktails for you and we're gonna be doing a bit of this. Hey tricks fans, I am Steve the Barman and I give you cocktail and drinks inspiration around some of your favorite brands. So if that floats your boat, hit the subscribe button, like the video and then dive into some of my other content once you've finished watching this video. Right, today we're going Halloween, three simple sort of Halloween cocktails for you. I'm using uh, Captain Morgan Dark Rum for the first cocktail. I'm using JD Cinnamon, uh, Cinnamon File, Tennessee Fire for the second cocktail. I'm using Cascabel, uh, but just a normal Blanco tequila uh, for the third cocktail. So the first cocktail I'm gonna do is kind of a little riff on the zombie. I kind of don't, I don't see the point in me doing like proper zombies. If you wanna go and find out how to make the zombie properly, go and check out STB version two, the younger Aussie version of me, the better looking version of me. He's got a video on it. I know Greg at How To Drink's got it. I know the Andro at the Educated Barfly. Go and check all them. This is the fun version of what I'm all about. So could for this uh, use any glasses, could wash them out. They've got a few spiders in them. We could go tiki mugs, uh, tiki jars. This one's a little bit bigger. Whatever you got, where's my other one? This kind of a tiki there. So these are kind of brilliant for Halloween drinks, but I'm going, I'm going for that one. Uh, and there'll be links in the show notes of where you can get this from, along with the recipes uh, and all the affiliate links to buy ingredients or whatnot. So they're all in the description below. So, right, uh, we're gonna shake this down. Now the, the zombie is um, three different types of um, sort of rum and you've got all kinds of weird and wonderful things in there to do it properly. However, I'm gonna kind of make this fun and easy for you. So ingredient number one, I'm going for just Captain Morgan's. Uh, I'm just going for the dark rum, uh, freshly unopened bottle uh, and I'm going 45 mil, uh, one and a half ounce of that. There we go. A bit of Captain Morgan's. You've got to have a bit of fun with Captain Morgan's, isn't you? A bit of fun. Right, I do want to kind of stick to the overproof thing. So as I'm in the UK, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a bit of Tiki Fire in this. Um, but I know Plantation OFTD is uh, massive in Australia. It's massive in the US. It's probably my favourite out and out. Let's hold it. Let's put it on the close-up for you. Uh, if you if you haven't seen that before, probably my out and out favourite overproof kind of proper proper rum. OFTD doesn't actually stand for old fashioned traditional dark, but I'll leave that with you there. So I'm going Tiki Fire instead. If you want a laugh and a giggle, uh, go onto Instagram and just search the hashtag uh, Tiki Fire Train, and you'll have a bit of fun there. Honestly, so uh, and we just want 22 uh, and a half mil. Uh, which is just three quarters of an ounce there, 22 and a half mil of Tiki Fire 70, 75.5% spiced rum. Oh, you think it's toffee vodka. Right, that's that. Right then, the next ingredient you want is uh, some falernum. Okay, I've started using this quite a bit now in these videos. I love falernum, sort of ginger, almond, lime notes in there. Uh, 15 mil, half an ounce of falernum. Pretty easy to get wherever you are. Uh, so that's that. We're now going for some freshly squeezed lime juice. Uh, and 22 and a half mil, uh, three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Now, uh, traditional sort of zombies, you kind of want what they say, and what 30 mil, one ounce of Don's mix. Now Don's mix is traditionally uh, white grapefruit juice. Uh, with a hint of cinnamon sugar. It's kind of two parts uh, grapefruit to one part cinnamon sugar. So I'm just gonna kind of flip that up because I do love grapefruit juice, but not many people do. So I'm going orange juice uh, for this. I'm just gonna make this straight, um, just pour it straight in there. So two parts of my 30 mil is obviously 20 mil of orange juice. There we go. And then I kind of want 10 mil of cinnamon syrup. So I've got my cinnamon syrup there. Lovely jubbly, 10 mil of that. So that's that's my UK, that's Steve's mix. <laughs> there we go, that's Steve's mix. Right, and then uh, two more ingredients, but one of them's just going in the shaker there, and we just want some aromatic bitters. You could go Angostura bitters, not a problem. I just love, that's the brand I use, Ms. Betty's Bitters. I just want about a third of a pipette, which will be the equivalent of about three dashes. 
So that's my bitters. So I'm just going to shake this down now, but I'm going to shake it with crushed ice. There we go. Uh, right, a uh, good hard fast shake for this. 10 to 12 seconds. Just halfway through shaking, I've just forgotten, completely forgotten one ingredient, which is some grenadine. And I just want about, about seven and a half mil. You don't need too much of this, just for the color. About seven and a half mil, quarter of an ounce of grenadine. False start, innit, false start. It's because don't use grenadine that often. Right, there we go, let's put that back. Right, just gonna finish shaking this down again. There we go, that's much better. That's the color I wanted. I was shaking it thinking, why is this yellow? Oops, uh, right, uh, now for uh, the sort of finish of this, um, I think the zombie kind of had like five minutes of absinthe in it, or pastis, whatever. I've got my little uh, pastis spray, which is my good old Tarquins um, Cornish pastis. That's all that is in there in my little atomizer. What I like to do, I don't like to add it in there. I like to atomize, I like to spray my glass. There we go, one spray. Oh, one and a half. Lovely, jubbly. Right, and then I'm just going to single strain this down. Oh, this whole, it's all past these notes floating around the bars, lovely. Yeah. Lovely sort of red in colour, because that's what you want for Halloween, don't you? Red in colour there. Now, if you're, as I say, if you're in a bar, uh, use fresh ice in there. But if you're at home, just use the same ice. No dramas. Just enough room to top up with fresh ice. Lovely. And then zombie fire, do whatever you fancy for this. You could set fire to it, as I've done in previous videos. You can add a bit of pineapple if you want there. You can garnish with a little bit of passion fruit, whatever you fancy. But that is kind of an easy Captain Morgan's riff on a zombie. Woohoo! That is stunning. And you know what? Stay tuned at the end of the video. I'll put it in chapters so you can see if you want to jump straight to it as well and skip the rest of the video. I don't recommend you skip the rest of the video, but I will set fire to that. I'll show you how to set fire and do little flames on top of that as well. So that I'll do that right at the end of the video for you. So uh, let's dive into cocktail number two. We are going for our JD cinnamon now or our fire, whatever you want to call it. So it's going in martini glass. You could easily kind of make this up in a highball glass, no dramas. I just wanted to go highball, martini, and then rocks glass. So, uh, cocktail shaker for this one. Uh, ingredient number one, we are going Tennessee fire. Love this stuff. Lovely sort of cinnamon, oh, sweet-ish. Sort of cinnamon whiskey liqueurs, lovely. Right, 45 mil, one and a half ounces of JD cinnamon fire. Actually, I'm going to rename it Cinnamon Fire. There we go. Not Tennessee Fire, Cinnamon Fire. So 45 ml of that. I want some freshly squeezed lemon juice, 15 ml, half an ounce. There we go. That's that. Uh, and then I'm going to go grenadine next because we want a sort of a reddish color as well for this one. Uh, I'm Again, I'm just going, so you don't need much. You see, look what the grenadine did for that. Uh, seven and a half mil, quarter of an ounce of grenadine. Don't, don't go putting a whole 25 mil in. You should never, ever, ever be using 25 mil of grenadine anywhere. Right, uh, so that's that. Then I'm going for some apple juice first. Pressed, 100% pressed apple juice. Uh, again, 45 mil, uh, three quarters of an ounce of apple juice. Then I want some cranberry juice now, so cranberry and apple. Lovely, jubbly, just cranberry juice. Again, same amount, 45 mil. Look, see, see what the grenadine, look what the grenadine's doing, look. Blooming stuff. Mm, tastes nice though. Right, uh, and that's that. Now, there's one final touch coming here, and we want some, which one should we go for? 
What's he talking about? What's he talking about? I've got some shimmers here, look. I've got gold, silver, and bronze edible glitter. I'm going, I'm going with some silver, some silver glitter, because I think this will look quite cool, won't it? Just edible glitter, it's absolutely fine to use. Just going for a little spoon, about that much in there. Don't smell of anything. You'll just kind of give this, it'll fizz up, but we'll give it a shake and it'll just kind of give this shimmery look after you've given it a shake down. Right, let's leave that to that side. So I'm just gonna ice this up. Now we've got, so we've got a ra ra radioactive drink. <laughs> right, oh, look at that, see, see all that shimmer straight away, look. Oh, this is good, this is good. Oh, this might need to settle down a little bit. Right, get rid of your ice out of there. I am just gonna, I'm gonna, do we get the effect if we double strain? Ideally want to double strain. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Look at all that shimmer. Lovely, jubbly. And I tell you what, I forgot as well. I'm thinking, what am I garnishing this with? I got, I got some of these. I said, I said it wasn't going tacky in my Instagram stories, but I kind of, I've got a little bit of tack going on. <laughs> and I've got, God knows what these are. Bubbly, bubbly boo milk chocolate ghosts. But again, let's just have a little bit of lime in there. I tell you what we could do. We could kind of go, bit of black, bit of black sugar on the lime. There we go. Can you see? I don't know whether you'll get that in a close up. Hopefully you can kind of, I'll try and zoom in as close as I can. Oh, the shimmer. The shimmer on that is awesome. Love that. Drink tastes pretty damn good as well. Oh, well, oh. I thought this was gonna be my favorite. Mm. Ooh, right, point in the video where I just give a big shout out to my Patreons, my legends. Thank you so much for your love and support. As always, your names will be nicely scrolling along the bottom of the video there. My Patreon membership community, I just love, I just absolutely love giving back as cheap as chips for a monthly payment. Uh, you can always download my free cocktail book in the bottom, in the description below and in the comment, the pinned comment as well. Go and download the book. But every month I update it, so you've got the bigger, proper, full version. Uh, going on there is massive right now as well. I do exclusive content in there. I've just started doing weekly podcasts, weekly simple serves. I just try and help you uh, whether you're at home, whether you're running pubs and bars, whether you're a mobile bar, just try and help as much as possible. possible. So go and check out my Patreon. Right, the third cocktail we're going for. Uh, this is gonna be in a rocks glass like this. And this is kind of like a pumpkin margarita. Very, very simple, but we're just flipping out an obvious thing coming up. So, uh, first ingredient is your tequila. As I say, I've got Cascabel, if you've got Patron, if you've got Don Julio, if you've got Jose, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just your favorite decent tequila. Right, uh, 45 ml, one and a half ounces of uh, tequila blanco. There we go. I need, need to put a ghost in the top then. Right, fifth, uh, 45 ml of that. Your next ingredient is some orange liqueur. Uh, as I've uh, Talks about this a load. Fortunello is kind of my orange liqueur. Think Grand Marnier orange Curacao style. You could use a triple sec or a Cointreau style if you really, really wanted to. I just love the Fortunello because it's so bold and vibrant. It's essentially a kumquat liqueur. It's lovely. Uh, so I want 15 ml, half an ounce of Fortunello. There we go. This is like the perfect accompaniment to margaritas. Absolutely love this. Right, uh, and then I want some freshly squeezed lime juice. Uh, I'm gonna actually go 30 mil for this. 30 mil, uh, one ounce. Let's go to that end. Lovely, 
jubbly. And then you would normally, if you wanted to, some sugar or agave, uh, but this is where I'm going pumpkin. Uh, so I'm going uh, sort of Monin's pumpkin spiced syrup. And this is absolutely lovely. Uh, so I'm going 22 and a half mil for this three quarters of an ounce. There we go. Right, let's pop that. And I tell you what, as I, as I flipping love it, I'm gonna, which one, where's it gone? Where's the silver one? I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a bit more shimmer to this one as well. It's Halloween, innit? Be rude not to, be rude not to. Let's add a bit of, let's add a bit of shimmer to this. Lovely, jubbly. Look, it fizzes up, but then shimmer. Oh, look at that. Can we get that in a close up? I don't need to shake it. Oh. Right, uh, I'm just gonna ice this down. There's a couple of little tricks coming here as well. So ice it down, give it a good shake. Lovely, jubbly. Right, half fast shake. There we go, right. Now it is gonna get served up in a rocks glass. First thing I need to do, I am going to give this a black sort of rim as well. So I've got a little bit of black sugar. Uh, and I just want, where's the lemon? A lime. Just gonna kind of do half of this. Just do that side. So I've got a little bit of a black, you could do, I've got sugary, you could do salt, obviously. Black salt, not a problem. I have got a black ice cube as well. Look at that. <laughs> He thinks of everything, doesn't he? I've got one spare if you want it. <laughs> Black ice cube there. Right, just gonna single strain this. And this will obviously, because it's just black food color in there. This will obviously kind of um, change the color of the drink. Especially as it dilutes as well. But we've kind of got that sparkle in there. But the fresh, it won't, it won't change, it won't change your taste at all. But look at that little straw, bit of fun in it, bit of fun. Uh, garnish. What else have we got? Got some eyeballs. Let's get some eyeballs on the go for a garnish. We've got a little black thing like that. Bit of fun. I said it won't go and tacky, but we kind of are. What's this taste like? Pumpkin, pumpkin margaritas. Hopefully you can kind of see that shimmer that's coming through there as well. To set fire to it, setting fire to drinks are cheap as chips, but bartenders, some bartenders don't realize the, the, the cheap hack, which is quite funny. It's the whole point of Halloween, isn't it, sweets? Right, so what we're gonna do, take that out, take the straw out, listen to the aeroplanes that go past, what I need is some sugar. And I'm eating with a chocolate in my mouth. I'm really, really sorry. Um, some lemon extract. A lighter. And some cinnamon. You'll love this. This will be amazing. Right. So, there's a few things going on here. So, first off, it works perfectly if you've got spent limes, just like this. So the first thing you need is some sugar. Now your sugar is, think barbecues, your sugar is like um, coal, charcoal, that's the word I was looking for. So you've got that on there. So that's kind of your fuel, that's what burns. All right, now you kind of need uh, your accelerant. Now a lot of bartenders will use rum, like overproof rum, and that's great, but why would you waste why would you waste a 35, 40 pound rum setting fire to it? Why would you do that? It's a bit silly, isn't it? Lemon extract, four or five quid. Most supermarkets will sell it. It's the most flammable thing you can have beyond your bar. Brilliant. You just need about half a capful. And just soak the lemon juice, uh, soak the sugar. So it's just lemon extract. Make sure we get that in the close up. Can we see that there? Decent lemon extract, right. Simple as. So you take your lighter. Look at that! Burn the hairs on your on your fingers. 
Whoa, fire safety alert. Now, have you ever seen bartenders where they go, oh, hang on, save me washing this down in a second. Where they throw stuff and go Ready, steady. Woohoo! There we go. How cool is that? So that's how to kind of finish and garnish and set fire to a drinks. Give me a massive thumbs up. Share this video. Happy Halloween.